Well, yes, Bicon has been in focus because they have recently received approval from the UK for one of those weight loss drugs, Liraglutide. Now, they have received approval. They are the first generic company to actually receive approval in the UK for this particular drug. The diabetes drug market size is expected to be around $425 million. Now, just to give you a sense in terms of the landscape for weight loss drugs, there are these GLP-1 drugs and Liraglutide is a part of that. The others include Semaglutide as well as Glutide. The famous brand names are Vigovi and Ozempic by Novo Nordisk, Munjaro Zepbound by Eli Lilly. Now around 8.8 .8 million people used GLP-1 drugs last year. The market size is expected to hit $100 billion by 2030. That's the potential of these weight loss drugs. Now, just to give you a sense in terms of how much potential does Liraglutide have as compared to, say, a semaglutide. Now, a Liraglutide, the weight loss is expected to be less as compared to semaglutide. And it is also supposed to be taken more often than semaglutide. And hence, there, that is the reason why people are not expecting it to be a huge money spinner for Biocon in the UK, though it shows the intent by the company is what analysts say. So the potential impact of this is around 30 to 40 million dollars in terms of revenue, 5% market share and Biocon going forward, showing that intent which analysts are talking about, expects peptides and GLPs to drive growth. Now, overall, they expect peptides to probably drive growth, which is GLP is a part of peptides, FI25 onwards. They expect to be a filer for liraglutide in the US also. They are eyeing the semaglutide market in big markets such as the US as well as Europe as well as India. Remember, semaglutide is a bigger market as compared to liraglutide. Now, <clears throat> In terms of uh, the competition, that's the key point because there are already 10 new drug applications for the generic version of the liraglutide in the US, plus the likes of Biocon, Sun Pharma, Dr. Reddy's, Aurobindo, Zydis, any company, you name it, is working on some type of opportunity from semaglutide. Now, in terms of a nearer term opportunity, it could probably be India because the market size is expected to grow to around 2,700 crores plus by 2028, which is for weight loss drugs. Right now, we only have the oral version of what Novo Nordisk sells in India. They could be launching the injection version and eventually we could probably see a couple of companies enter when it comes to the weight loss market in India in the nearer term as compared to, say, the US or Europe.